What's up with all my real riders and why that man and all our fans out there tuning into our first show streaming live from our YouTube channel. We appreciate all the loyalty, love and respect. Thanks for helping us spread our positivity by tuning into the one and only the red zone where real eyes, real lies, real lies. Everyone ain't loyal. It's motivational <laughs> Monday. Some people call me chief. Some people call me head of the table, and the rest simply call me LO. I'm your host, and being that today is Monday, August 9th, 2021, I have sitting to my right, and as always, loyally and faithfully executing the duties and responsibilities of a right hand man, making his global debut right here on the one and only Red Zone, the one and only second to none tattoo. What's real, Red Zone loyalists? At birth, my mama named me Joshua Weimer. Big shout out, Mama Carla, my heart. I love you. Now, though, I'm known simply as Tattoo, and yeah, that's spelled T A T U. D, right hand man for the Chief of the Red Zone and head of the table for our Double R family. Much love, hello. Now, whether I'm slinging ink or running security for this a big homie, y'all can trust him to leave. Ohio believe. Correctional Facility and may be recorded and monitored. Y'all can trust and believe that it's going to be 100% five-star work because when you've been struggling down in the dirt, you never want to leave the sky. It gets no realer than right here with us. We've had each other since jump, always will, and now we got y'all to So sit back, close your mouth, open your ears, and ride with us for the next hour. It'll be the best hour of your day. So from two of the realest riders that ever touched the airwaves, let's go on ahead and set this motivation on Monday off right. Go ahead, Chief. I'm riding with you. You're tuning in to the realest talk anywhere about everything, period. And today's word for the day is parking garage. For those of you who already tuned in, you heard today's uh, precursor video. That was from September 15th, 2019. Today's lucky number for the day, lucky numbers for the day are 6, 18, 41, 22, 68, 31, 20, 13, and 9. So um, if you look at the video that was posted right before this one, you'll see it's called Parking Garage. And so what that is, is that is a um, piece that uh, my right-hand man and I put together, what, two years? Two years? Almost exactly two years ago. This call oh, is originating from an Ohio correctional shit, facility a year and may be recorded months. and monitored. About a year and 11 months ago. We started with it was a it was an assignment for my creative writing course. Shout out Mildred Rainey at Stratford uh, Career Institute. But yeah, it started out as a, a three page um, three page essay, bro. And what did it turn into, Tattoo? Well, yeah, you had you had started off the idea uh, and read the story to me for your essay thing, and I was feeling what you had already so much that I was like, bro, you should make that into a book. Like, I would read that, <laughs> and we just got to brainstorming, and after that, yeah, man, bro, it just took off. And a, yeah. One whole now shot, now like a, a two OPH trips, two yeah. heads, three hand cramps, and now... Yeah, and now y'all are getting a preview of what's going to be on the New York Times bestseller list for at least a year. So righteous special. endeavor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Starts with two R's and ends I mean, with two R's. Righteous endeavor, yep. I mean, personally, mm -hmm. like, I feel like it's at least, at the very least, a decade and some change past the time where our bank accounts should have hit that almighty, the number after six-figure balance. But since Damn. we have a challenge and live for the hustle, struggle, and grind of it, we should go on ahead Man. and start late. After all, we had to give the rest of the world a head start. Otherwise, it wouldn't have been fair. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't have been fair. So it's Motivational Monday, man. We're talking about what motivates us, and more importantly, what gets us out of bed because, you know, it's we're locked up. We're doing a hard time. This is level four, super maximum security, 23 and one. We come out of our cells for three meals and one hour outside a day. We are in a completely sealed facility. We get exactly 60 minutes of fresh air a day, and that's it. That's all we get. Same view. We get the same concrete walls. I got the yard. Oh, yeah, you got the same view I got. You got the the yeah. mini yard. Basketball court. You got the mini prison yard <laughs> out the window. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same shitty four walls. It's the same boring sun up, sundown, groundhog day every day, man, but... 
we try every day to to come up with something to come up with something to do. So I've been blessed enough to get into the Ashland University program. Shout out Go Eagles. Shout out um second chance. We're a Pell Grant second chance recipient. So um we've been given an opportunity to do that. But before that, man, that was all we had, bro. All we had was tattoos. Tattoos, fighting and nothing positive, so This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. I have to have a, um, I got a piece I wanted to read. Um, I think you'll be able to appreciate this. So this was something that I um, keep for my little, tucked for my little motivation. So it's called Letter to My Cody. Friends are just enemies that haven't betrayed you yet. You gambled with our lives and now our future is set. See, I wake up each morning, take life one step at a time, dealing with the pain of knowing that my right hand dropped a dime. Cause you got scared, we lost everything we built. The legacy to our kids, your mouth killed. Can't even figure out where you went wrong. You was my family. We've been down that long. For you, there was no limit I wouldn't take it to. Held you up and wiped your eyes at your mama's funeral. Let you borrow my gear so girls would look at you, introduce you to your baby mama, and was there when your daughter lost her first tooth. If only you would have kept it solid, we would be there with them now, instead of these cages on 23-hour lockdown. I hope at night my face haunts your dreams and you never forget what your betrayal means. Because next time we meet free, we ain't dabbing up. I got to collect everything your weakness took from me. And since you ain't got anything left to give, the price is your life because you chose to snitch. Mm. Talk to me a little bit about that. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I, get, I get overly emotional sometimes and I sit down and I write things and like he'll never, he'll never get that letter. Overly but, uh, emotional yeah. sometimes. It, it had to get, it had to get said, like... <laughs> Bro, you yeah. destroyed everything. So you feel better at least like, at the end of that, like No, I was pissed because I couldn't put my hands on him at the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> this shit is serious, bro. Twenty years in a right. cage because you couldn't be quiet. That's all you had to do. Just be quiet. We were good. Lawyers were paid, like shit was cool. So, so after getting here, after after having what I don't even want to speak the words, but after what happened the last time that you went to court, bro, how do you find motivation? What, what gets you out of bed? What, what, what is it that keeps you going, bro? Because it's, it's, you have so many reasons not to. So what is it that keeps you moving forward? What is it that keeps you motivated? At the end of the day, even though the the mother of my child is not a nice person, and I'm gonna save the the R-rated version for later, but uh, my kid is what gets me up in the morning. Like, even though she doesn't let me talk to him, I don't get to see him. You know what I mean? She don't accept the calls. Like, I know eventually I'm gonna be free, and you know what I mean? I'm gonna have to be there and have yeah, for a sure, lot no matter what to do. So. So I think that that's my motivation, him, and then, you know, I got my, my, my down since day one. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. My down since day one, the only female that's never betrayed me or broke my heart, and that's my mama. So Man, I get up for her. Big shout out, Mama Carla. And she ain't never let me down here. And matter of fact, it's, it's all for the family, bro, because eventually they're going to let us go, you feel me? So... I gotta be in the no matter what when that does happen. Be it so, today, tomorrow, um, ten years from now. Yeah, period. No matter what. So I have something that I read um, every day that just sort of gets me going, keeps me moving, keeps me moving in a positive direction, keeps me motivated. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. Be brash. Be a boss. Put on for the shit that we built from the ground up. It's called a grind because it's hard. It's a struggle. And the willingness to take on that responsibility is what separates us from them. We grind. We hustle. We struggle. We strive together. Motivation is the fuel that feeds the fires of desire. You have to be motivated to attain the desires of your heart. You have to go and take that shit. Life is not going to hand it to you. 
You have to fight, claw, strain, manipulate, scheme, plot, prepare, evaluate, eliminate, and execute. You have to be better than the person sitting next to you. Life is a competition. Natural selection is a real thing. Nobody can want it for you. Actions speak louder than words. Now go take what's yours. Mm. No, so that's listen. my mantra, part one. I try yeah. to read that every day. I try to read that every day before I wake that, up, brush my teeth, wash my face. Listen, if after hearing that, it don't get you fired up to do something with your day or your life, you're <laughs> lame. <laughs> <laughs> that's a fact. Yeah, that's that every time I hear it. Every time. Yeah, I enjoy it. I wrote that. I wrote that a while ago, actually. But it was, um, yeah, man. It was just I was going through. I just don't even remember what I. I think I was going through my sanctions when they took away. So I've been locked up as of right now. I've been locked up eight years. And in the eight years that I've been in the custody of the ODRC, they have forbidden me from hugging and kissing my mom for 25% of my time. Two of my eight years, I have been forbidden from hugging my mom and kissing my mom. 25%. And I don't understand under what circumstance or what, like, what, what set of circumstances could ever allow that or would ever be justifiable to make that okay, but... 25%. I was thinking about that the other day. 25% of the time I've been locked up, I haven't been able to hug and kiss my mom, bro. And wow. they just, like, that's just okay. okay. Like, they just have no problem with that. They have no, granted, okay, sure. Half of it was because of a global pandemic. And yeah, okay, there was a dead bat in China. That This call is originally from an <laughs> Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. Because of a dead bat in China, I lost my sense of taste and my sense of smell for two weeks and couldn't get out of bed, which blew me right. away. <laughs> but okay, I can I can accept all of that. I can get over all of that. But what I can't get over is the fact that they stand in such direct opposition to everything that this we try to do that's positive. From an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. They try to get in the way of everything that we try to do. They try to interrupt everything that we try to do for no reason, bro. For there's no justification, no, no viable reason. No. Hold up. Hold up. Let me stop you right there, because there is a reason. They do this shit on purpose for a reason, and that's because they want us to be where we're at right now. They want us to be so mm. miserable and hate life so much that we go home and do dumb shit and end up right back in this shit. They don't exist that's without terrible. us. They got to torture us. They got to mentally and emotionally punish us to make us the type of people that you don't want to be around when you're home. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, sad, this, bro. This shit is a racket. It's a racket for sure. They don't care about us. They care about their job security. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. It's Motivational Monday. We're in you the red zone, and we're keeping it too real. Too real. The real is talk anywhere about everything. We don't know what we're doing. It's you the red zone, and we love it. We're live. We're on YouTube. I can't believe it. I can't. It's it's six, seven months in the running, bro. I'm looking at a journal entry right now from April 20th, 2020. 420. Smoke them if you got them. But it says, yeah. I've got, yeah, it says, uh, I'm sitting here, and I've got a podcast on my mind. Says I'm sitting here thinking about a podcast. I've got a podcast on my mind, and my Instagram page is doing its thing. Follow me at the real L O T H E R R E A L E L underscore O. That's the real L O with two R's. And I just can't believe, like, here we are, dude. The power of of like really putting it on paper, bro. Like the power of really sitting down and saying, like, saying what you want. Saying what you believe, saying what you know what I mean. How it how do you hear me? Yeah, bro. How it matters. Like it really matters to to really put that shit on paper. Like, oh man, that's crazy, dude. I can't believe it. Anybody deserves it? I got shit in here about you. (laughs) Yeah, I got shit in here about you talking about how. Getting sprayed. 
Oh yeah, by the way, just for the listeners, they don't they don't they don't call me tattoo for nothing. So when you go on bro This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. So when you jump on Brad's page to follow him, that ink that you see, yeah, that that's mine. That's my work. <laughs> I ain't just tattooed for no reason. Like that's a hustle. So that's it says I did my first haircut passion. since January today. My favorite white blood let me cut his shit and I nailed it. It was like riding a bike. Fade game. I really enjoyed cutting. I'm gonna pursue it as a side hustle. I thought about trying to find a way to help out homeless or half. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. People who just need a cut and use that as a way to establish a portfolio and get my skills out there because your boy can do his thing flat out. People literally are beating down my doors to pay for a cut, and that's a damn good feeling. Last thing, so I'm going to be a published author before the end of the year, period. But I don't want to stop there. And in an effort to add layers of authenticity to the brand, I want to somehow attach my name to a TED Talk. And a podcast has been on my heart. I think my Instagram is a fantastic start. It's coming together quite well. I finally perfected my bio. And then I got my whole little thing that I wrote. But, like, that's motivating, bro. That's motivating to me because that's... Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to interject when you said that about the barber. Man, listen, I'm 37 years old, and if me and you ain't in the same block, I shave my shit with a razor. I don't let nobody cut this hair but you because it don't look fire. For and they, sure. You know, it must, it's, it's, you can get it. Yeah, because you got your head tatted. Bro. You got <laughs> head tats. You got, you know what I mean? So the swag is there to we'll, just we'll, peel it with a razor, but yeah, we definitely um, it should look super fly. You were, were matter of fact, right? you were the very first person, bro. You were the very first person that I ever cut. You were the very first person to ever sit down in my chair when ATL handed me the clippers for the first time. Was like, bro, you're going to learn how to cut. Like, I'm gonna teach you how to cut hair today. Like, you're locking down today as a barber. <laughs> I was like, man. And ever since then, bro, that was the very first. That was the very first head that I learned how to cut hair on, bro, and I perfected it. And I made sure I always oh, make sure I do your shit the best, bro, because you was willing to sit down, bro. You was willing to roll that dice. Yeah. And now nobody can touch it. <laughs> Period. That's what's up. It's been a while, man. We put the work in, though. We deserve this. For sure, bro. Free LO, free tattoo, man. Period. For sure. F R R Sigma Sigma E L underscore O. Period. Yeah, I'm <laughs> old school, that's bro. all I, I got, man. Pages, so. Be good or be good at it. <laughs> hashtag social distance. Hashtag COVID 19. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Period. Big Come social on. distance. Weird ass. Yeah, weird ass China. Yeah, oh, weird ass <laughs> coronavirus, bro. Who would have thought? This is a motherfucker who's be over there eating all that weird shit. This is an experiment. Yeah, bats. Why would you have a bat in the house outside your restaurant? Right. The yeah, fact. It was a market, bro. <laughs> it was the market. It was the Walmart. It was literally the Chinese Walmart. There was a dead bat outside of a Chinese Walmart, essentially. This call is originating from an Ohio correctional facility and may be recorded and monitored. Lost my sense of smell, my sense of taste. Believe me, how I, I know. I was in bed for a good two weeks off that. My immune system, man, I beat that shit without the infection. And then they came yeah. out trying to pay us to get the get the vaccination. Listen, I knew it was a trick to it. Pay somebody. I like, knew it was a trick to it. To no, pay me for medical care. Yeah, no, no there's thanks. a trick. There's something wrong with that. There's gotta be. <laughs> there's gotta be a trick to it. Yeah, we're gonna pay oh you my gosh. This experimental shit. I know we've been blue our dude, it's eleven o'clock at night. We've been definitely blue our ten minutes. Okay, I'm walk away done. from the Yeah, we're kicking it. It's motivational Monday, bro. We're in the red zone. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, wow. I'm here. I'm <laughs> yeah, here. we're losing track of time. I'm here, but I forgot to keep right. track of time.
Great job. So I'm going to go ahead and do the outro right now. I'm not even going to have time to call you back, so we're going to have to just call it a night right now. Uh, well, I guess our time together is coming to an end, and I hope you enjoyed your VIP backstage pass into the red zone. And now that you know a little bit more about us, about our world, what we do, how we do it, and why we make it look so good, if you want to know more, make sure you check out our – oh, I guess not. Make sure you check us out on Instagram at T-H-E-R-R-E-A-L-E-L underscore O. And may be recorded and monitored. And if you want to support the Red Zone specifically and add on a little something to your swag of the day, get a hold of Porsche on Instagram or email her at pprofit at positive transitioning.org. As always, big shout outs to my day one Porsche Profit for having the vision and the rest of our Red Zone family for making it happen, balancing the checkbooks, writing the checks, answering the calls, editing our content. And that's it. That's all they do. So we shatter glass ceilings just because. Make sure you write in, interact with us, answer our question of the day, or write us a shout out. And the more unique, the better. If we choose your shout out and we read it during our big, sh- our big clout shout out segment, we'll send you a free T-shirt with your name on it and a shoulder chevron with the show's title. Follow us on Instagram at the real L O T H E R R E A L E L underscore O. We need as much feedback as we can get. If you loved it, tell us. If you hated it, tell us. And we'll do the best to make it better. Want to help? Tell somebody about us. Make sure you click subscribe. Mash that subscribe button. And don't forget about my little homie Blue, the blue box under the screen with the capital D. We appreciate all the love and support. Remember, always keep your index on top of your middle. Hold your ring finger down with your thumb and stick your pinky out on some player shit and salute your haters because without them, who would we do it for? Until next time, be good or be good at it. Hashtag F R Sigma Sigma T A T U S R Sigma Sigma E L <laughs> underscore O. You know what it is, man. Free tattoo, free L O. You're in the red zone. We appreciate you tuning in, man. We love you guys. We love our fans. Stay real, man, and always ride. We love you guys, man. It's the red zone. Over and out. Work.